this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica in today's world where diseases have become the best friend and continuous companion to the humans for various lifestyle and environmental reasons there is a huge need for its fast detection and treatment imagine the way google searches and finds information on the web a machine searching and finding disease in your dna and rna this has become real by the magnificent work done by mammoth biosciences the company which is behind the world's first crispr based disease detection platform it today announces the united states patent and trademark office patent which has been granted the earliest priority patent for their crispr collateral cleavage diagnostic systems the us patent covers comprehensive techniques that enable mammo to now offer dna and rna detection and are the first of their kind granted in crispr diagnostics biotechnica is honored to get an opportunity to interact with trevor martin co-founder and ceo of mammoth biosciences and understand his journey and vision for this revolutionary bioscience product thank you so much again trevor for coming online and reaching yeah, in this meeting Okay so my first question to you is to begin with can you tell us about Mammoth Biosciences how did you conceive the idea starting with CRISPR based company Yeah so uh the idea came from a uh, work that was in Jennifer Doudna's lab and uh basically my co-founders published this uh set of really great papers in the uh Science and Nature uh magazines and these scientific papers uh outline this idea of using crispr as a kind of programmable search engine that could be used to detect dna and rna um and this kind of combination of synthetic biology and diagnostics is really exciting uh so we teamed up and decided to uh create a company around this kind of core concept okay great so the crispr is latest technology presently and with a very promising future so can you elaborate about this technology for our viewers and also give your views about its importance and its impact yeah so um what's exciting about crispr is that it's something that kind of links uh our uh ability to program things and then biology so these are typically like very disparate areas Uh so you can think of CRISPR as like a tiny molecular machine where you can program it by giving it this thing called a guide RNA and once it has that guide RNA it'll go out and bind to whatever is complementary to the guide. Uh so in the form of diagnostics the way you use that is let's say you want to detect malaria so you bioinformatically design a guide that's unique to malaria so using bioinformatics you can say this sequence is found in malaria but not found in other related species and then uh what happens is that if the crispr protein successfully finds the sequence that its guide rna is telling it to find then it binds to it and when people think about editing typically what you do is then you cut the sequence there so that you can edit it but when we're thinking about diagnostics we have these special proteins that once they find their target so they have a malaria guide rna they find the malaria dna or rna in the sample then what happens is that they trigger this activity we call collateral cleavage and that collateral cleavage uh both serves as an amplification of the signal and also how we can read it out with like a color or fluorescence okay great so coming to the ongoing patent battle regarding crispr technology can you give us an insight into the recent patent grant and whether you are considering it as a turning point or breakthrough for your company So we're really excited about the kind of recent patents that are being granted because it definitely shows that Berkeley and then the commercialization of Mammoth is are is doing is at the kind of forefront of this brand new field that's uh kind of a totally unexpected use of uh this CRISPR technology because most of the focus has been on editing uh and using it in that space and this is kind of just a really exciting whole new area So what are your views on the impact of this patent in uh, research and generally on the public? Yeah, so I think what we're excited about for the in terms of the kind of patent and moving forward is that uh in CRISPR typically the technology has been really kind of locked up and it's been hard to access 
And one of the things we're really excited about at Mammoth is really enabling the entire ecosystem to use this CRISPR technology. And uh, a big part of that is obviously making sure uh, that people have access to uh, the work that we're developing at Mammoth. Uh, so, you know, obviously filing and getting patents is part of that. Uh, and this is just kind of another step along the way of making sure that Mammoth's at the forefront of this field so that we can really power the ecosystem so other partners like diagnostics partners, pharma partners, et cetera, to actually uh, use these tests. Okay. So um, tell us about your recent uh, product, the most anticipated CRISPR-based kit. Uh, yeah, so we are obviously continuously developing the kind of CRISPR diagnostic system for lots of different applications, and there's different areas it can be used in. So in the kind of most near term, obviously you can use it in like central labs uh, and kind of point of care type applications. And definitely our vision is that uh, as we develop the technology, you can use it even at point, point of need, like at home, uh, where it can be in a format uh, potentially as simple as like a pregnancy test. Okay, that's great. Uh, so why do you think there is a need for this new technology when we already have many existing like diagnostic kit? How is it going to impact the healthcare industry particularly? Yeah, it's a great question. So we really see this as the kind of union of two fields. Uh, so on the one hand, you have uh, molecular testing. On the other hand, you have uh, kind of rapid testing. And I think what's exciting uh, about what we're developing at Mammoth is that it's this technique that's very simple and very straightforward, um, but it gives you results uh, that are really sensitive and really specific, like some of the most complicated molecular techniques. Um, so really, it's just kind of this whole new method that uh, is isothermal, but still giving you uh, great kind of sensitivity and specificity as if you were using uh, a non-isothermal test. Okay, so what all can be detected by this kit, like pathogens, viruses, and anything? Yeah, so the CRISPR system can detect anything uh, with DNA or RNA. So the detection will be only quantitative or it will be only con also concentrated qualitatively? Yeah, so uh, you can measure with qualitative and quantitative uh, DNA and RNA. Uh, obviously, kind of first, we're focused mostly on uh, qualitative, but both are possible. Okay. And how would you rank your kid in the terms or in the range of 1 to 10? In, in yeah, terms I mean, of convenience and how for the common people to use? Yeah, I mean, definitely our goal is to make it an 11 out of 10. Uh, so that's kind of our guiding light. Uh, definitely, we're kind of obvious, always developing the test further to make sure it's... Uh, you know, something that's actually increasing accessibility. Okay. So there are other similar products which are being launched. So how is your product different and exclusive from them? Yeah, so uh, I can't speak for other people's products, obviously. Um, but I think in general, what we're excited about is that the more people that are excited about kind of CRISPR as a diagnostic tool, the more kind of validation there is of it. Uh, in terms of its efficacy and its robustness. So really, we're kind of just always excited when other people are uh, excited about this type of technology. And uh, how will you cost this technology? Will it be affordable in the developing countries or underdeveloped countries as well? So our goal is definitely uh, to have the technology available worldwide. And I definitely think it can make a big impact in developing countries as well as developed. Uh, we don't have specific pricing information right now, but definitely our goal is to make it widely accessible. And how soon we are expecting to launch this product? Uh, so we don't have a specific timeline right now, but obviously as soon as possible. And so what are your upcoming prospects? Like, Are there any other fields other than healthcare industry also that you will be targeting? Yeah, so there's lots of interesting applications in agriculture and industry. Uh, even forensics, uh, and I think all these areas are areas where we're excited to partner with people that have uh, industry-specific uh, expertise where we can leverage our CRISPR expertise uh, to help address the problem they have. And where do you think this uh, CRISPR technology is heading now? Like next 10 years, will it bring any revolutionary change? Yeah, so I think in general, uh, 
CRISPR is kind of making biology programmable. I think that's really exciting. Uh, so the kind of long-term vision of CRISPR, I think, is really providing us tools to read and write the code of life. And coming years, do you think any other such revolutionary technology can also replace CRISPR? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have no idea kind of what technologies are in the future, but in terms of CRISPR's strengths, uh, I mean, whether there's like other systems or not, CRISPR is this amazingly uh, effective system at kind of finding and binding to DNA and RNA. So that's a very unique and powerful kind of concept. So any message would you like to give to our new researchers in this particular field of CRISPR? Yeah, I mean, the main thing is that uh, definitely at Mammoth, we're excited to enable the ecosystem and we want uh, to help people use these powerful new, new tools. So thank you so much, Shiva, again, for removing time for us. Uh, yeah, it's our honor. On the behalf of Biotechnica, I thank you all. Gabriel and uh, Trevor, and we will be soon publishing this news. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Beyond healthcare, Mammoth is developing tests and partnering with others to explore applications in the wide range of industries, such as agriculture, oil and gas, forensics, and these patents are major wins for the company's novel detection platform. Thank you, Mr. Trevor, for sharing the story behind your spectacular work. It will definitely inspire the researchers across the world.